All right, guys, got a nice quick one for you here with this unprinted deck of cards. All we'll I have to do is snap and it becomes printed. How cool is that, man? Of course, you can actually see there's nothing on the inside of the box, but when I fold it up into the shape of a card box, all I have to do is snap and all of a sudden we get a full deck of playing cards. Oh yeah! I mean, look, <laughs> I'll be the first one to admit my handiwork's not great. I had to draw these quick, man. Time was of the utmost essence. But check it out, this one here, that's the 10 of spades. I also drew the uh, four, of, four of clubs. Pretty good. Man, I did these with a crayon, baby. I also got this one here. This one here is the king of diamonds. It's also me, you know what I'm saying? But watch this, watch the back of this card. All I have to do is with a little magical wave, it'll start to look like it's been printed from a factory. Isn't that sick, man? Of course, the uh, uh, the face is not great. <laughs> of course, there's an easy way to fix that too. I just wave and I snap and all of a sudden the face of the card is starting to look like a genuine printed playing card. The best thing about this whole illusion is that if I show you this here, all I have to do is snap the fingers and you can see every single card is now a fully printed card. They're all real, they're all genuine. Not only the fronts, but also the backs. Every card is now a real playing card. And that is a demonstration of the virgin arts. I'm gonna go edit this now. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Yo, what's up guys? Jason Ma, the Magician, and welcome back to the 365 Days of Magic Challenge, day number 33. Now, one of the most common questions I get asked on this channel is how many decks of cards do I own? And the answer, I actually have no idea. But rather than go through all of the decks that I own, I'm gonna show you my top five favorite decks of cards. So strap in, baby, it's gonna be sick. Now I know that everyone's favorite decks is gonna be different. This is just my top favorite decks. It is subjective. What you like, maybe I don't like, and what I like, maybe you don't like. You know what I mean? But before we dive into the decks, make sure that you smash like if you haven't already and subscribe because every single subscriber gets me one step closer to that golden play button, baby. I can feel it, man. It's happening this year. It's gonna happen. Now coming in at number five and my current top five favorite decks is the casino cherries, baby. Not just any casino cherries, because there's a whole lot of them. I mean, look at all those cherries, man. Every different color you could think of. No, my favorite is still the original. The very first printing they ever had, the cherries are cherry colored, the backs are black, and the design is just simple and just I mean, seriously, get a load of these puppies. I feel like the only way to really show you the beauty of this deck is to do a nice quick card trick for you. Maybe I'll do a card trick with every deck, why not? Check it out, we get a card selected at random, and in this case it's going to be the Ace of Spades, baby! What a choice. That card's going to be left sticking out of the center of the deck so you can keep your eyes on it, and all we do is just take a few cards off the top. Now, as long as none of these are the Ace of Spades, we should be right for a miracle, because when I push it in, one card instantly travels across, and with any luck, that is the Ace of Spades. Isn't that pretty, man? I feel like a pretty deck just makes a magic trick look better. You know what I mean? Now, the first thing you'll notice about the deck is that it's actually got a really simple design, just these two wavy things with the cherries, and that is just what appeals to me the most. I just like them like that. The other thing is that the faces are completely standard. There's no weird-looking design on them. They're very easily recognizable. Even the Jokers, even though they're not standard, uh, they just look like Jokers, you know what I'm saying? The deck is immediately recognizable. So when you're performing magic, tricks for people it doesn't look suspicious you know what I'm saying now coming in at number four baby is these the Halloween carvers is that upside down no it's not how sick is that if you watched any of the Japanese vlogs on my channel you would know that I went to the biggest Halloween party of the year and I used these very playing cards in fact the ones that I'm holding are the very same ones that I used in Japan these cards are sick. Now the first thing you're going to notice is that the back design on this is also incredibly simple. I really like simple designs. I don't know why, they just, they speak to me. <laughs> now just like the first deck, I'm going to show you a nice quick trick with these cards. Check it out. Boom baby, the Jokers. And they're actually cute little pumpkins. How cool is that man? 
Now look, we just get a card selected at random, and in this case it's going to be the Six of Diamonds. And that's gonna be left somewhere in the center of the pack. You can see every card is different, and we still have the two Jokers chilling out on the tippity top. Now watch close, as I shake the deck, one card jumps up in between the two Jokers in an instant. And with any luck, that is the selected Six of Diamonds. Sick! Now the sad news is that the company that makes these cards, they only like print out like a set amount, usually like 1500 decks per design. And I don't own many of their cards. I think I only own like two or three different designs of their decks. This is by far my favorite that they've released. When I saw it, I had to have it. I got it, now I have it. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty sick because when you get them, they come in these like really unique wrappers, kind of like candy, like Halloween candy style wrappers, which is pretty cool. Obviously I haven't opened this one yet and I don't intend to. But honestly, if this deck was an off the shelf type of deck, I 100% would own 100 of them. Now you'll also notice that the faces are pretty standard, except for the fact that the reds are orange to match the Halloween theme. The blacks are still black and the court cards, they still look very much like court cards, however, they've got themes, like this is a witch. This one here is like a skeleton man. And that's definitely just a pumpkin dude. Typically I don't like when they overdo the court card faces, however, they've still managed to somehow maintain a classic look, but with just a bit more fun added to it. So I love them. Anyway, it's time for deck number three, hot dog. Why did I say that? That's such a weird thing to say. Anyway, the number three is the first playing cards. That's right. These right here are the third First playing cards. The, they're, the, they're the third version of the first play. The, the company is called First, and these are the third ones that they released. Is that, hey, Chris, what are you doing, bro? You're confusing the whole world. All right, since the creator of this deck of cards is a move monkey, I figure I might as well do some intense sleight of hand. Let's get a card selected at random, and in this case, it's going to be the uh, Jack of Spades. And that's going to be left somewhere in the center of the pack, just like so. And all we have to do to locate it is snap the fingers, and boom, baby, that's not the Jack of Spades. But watch close, because with just a little bit of cover, I can actually make the card. There's nothing in this hand, by the way, that's important. But I can actually make this queen start to look like the Jack of Spades. Isn't that just bloody sick? Now, since you guys are starting to understand my preferences, boom, baby, look at those faces. So standard. I love the kind of like holiday feel to these cards. You know what I mean? These leaves, the palm leaves here, they look so sick. I think the thing that entices me the most is that when you do a fan, you get that sick golden strip going all the way around and it looks just so good. I actually own all of the first playing card franchise cards. Um, pretty much all of them have that sick golden strip, which is awesome. I can't quite put my finger on it. I like all the cards by Chris Ramsey, but for some reason, these cards, I just like the most. I Look, Chris, if by chance you see this, could you just like send me a brick because why not? <laughs> now at this point here, I'm self-aware enough to know that the only people left watching me at this stage are literal bros. If you're still here at eight minutes in the video, hanging out with me, talking about my favorite decks of cards, just know I love you. <laughs> now coming in at number two on my top five favorite decks is this. These right here are the Erdnay's playing cards. I'm gonna level with you. I actually don't know much about this deck. I just know that I have a few of them and I love them. They are just so nice. I think it's the Erdnay's green that just entices me. Like the color of this box, the color of the cards themselves. Watch when I take them out. The design, obviously standard faces, but the back design is just so simple. There's nothing here that's like super exciting, but the color, it's the freaking color, man. All right, here they are, the Erdnay's playing cards. The back design, super simple, and I love it. And the faces of these cards, uh, very standard, just the way I like them. <laughs> now here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna get a card selected at random. In this case, it's going to be the Jack of Hearts. Now you can see that there, the Jack of Hearts. That's going to be left somewhere into the center of the pack and we'll just push that in there and then we'll riffle shuffle the cards. The trick here is to give it a few cuts for anyone that plays poker. Then we riffle shuffle again. This is very casino-ish. Now some people think that I do false shuffles. So let me just show you here. These cards are genuinely being shuffled together, okay? There's no tricky business here. And all we have to do is check this out. 
cards face up, cards face down. I have a moment here where I can scan and look for your card and if it's not there, it must be somewhere in the face down card. Now these get shuffled face up into face down just like this and just like that we have a mess of playing cards. Cards that are face up into face down, they're face down into face up. The real trick here is that we want to try and locate your card using the power of the magic snap. And it's done. <laughs> the snap does nothing, it's just union rules for magicians, but if I spread the cards out, you'll see every card is facing the same direction except for just one. And that really is the Jack of Hearts. Pretty sick cards, man. Now, for those of you that don't know, The Expert at the Card Table is actually the title of a book. It is a book written by, possibly or potentially, one of history's greatest card mechanics. Someone who cheats at cards and is just so good at it. The thing is, no one actually knows who the author of the book is. All we know is that it's S.W. Erdnays. That's the only information we have. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just the green. We call it Erdnays Green, us magician folks. Erdnays Green. I like it, I like it a lot. Now, coming in at number one, my top favorite deck to this day since I received them is the Slow Hands Playing Cards. I don't know what it is about this deck. It was created by my friend Keir Gomes. You can't buy them anymore, they're gone. They're gone, man. Oh. This deck has standard faces and it showcases a seemingly standard back design, but it's like cartoony and fun. Look at these little peace sign snails. Honestly, this is an unexplainable favorite of mine. I just really like these cards. They are seemingly perfect to me. The design, the simplicity, just everything about them. I just, I really like them. <laughs> anyway, the card trick I'm gonna show with these is something organic, something simple. We get a card selected at random. In this case, it's going to be the seven of clubs and that's going to be placed right there into the center of the pack and you can actually see all these cards are different not my best work with the fan but like these cards are well loved <clears throat> all right so the card trick i'm going to show you with these is something organic let me show you first we get a card selected at random in this case it's going to be boom the king of diamonds and that's going to be placed right there into the center of the pack and you can actually see all these cards are completely different now it's not my best fan that's because these cards are well loved they don't fan like they used to <laughs> but check it out with just the snap i can get the card disguised as a seven of clubs now i know you're not convinced so with just a little wave of the hand it'll actually change into the king of diamonds but watch close because when I take that king and I put it roughly about the middle the second I push it in all I have to do is snap the fingers and it jumps to the top of the deck and that is the slow hands playing cards anyway comment below what are your favorite cards it doesn't have to be the cards that I've shown you today it could be something that I've never even heard of before and then your favorite cards could become my favorite cards man we could be like best buds but with like cards, like you'd have a deck of cards, you'd be sick, it'd be so sick. Enchanté.